son, the Igbo, who alleges plots to eliminate him. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Embattled Jeroboam Nation Agitator Sunday, a day more popularly known as Sunday Ibuho, has alleged a plot to eliminate him in the Benin Republic. The 49 year old Agitator was arrested by operatives of Brigade Criminali, Criminal Brigade on the July 19th in Kotono. It is a thing of um, sad, it's a thing very worrisome and sad that this man whose only crime was airing the opinion of his people, was actually, is actually spending his festive period in prison. I do not want to start imagining what the family of this man is going through, while others are dining and whining and are happy that they get to see their loved ones, their people, he himself and the, the indigenous people of Biafra Lida, they are both in prison for crimes they did not do. The only crime was they, they refused to be prisoners of their conscience. They spoke things as they are and they did not coat it. They did not sugarcoat it or do anything um, to, to make it stand out. That is it. And I keep asking myself, for how long are we going to continue like this? For how long are we going to continue like this? Are we going to continue like this? Are we going to continue like this for a long time? Are we not tired of having to always complain over this type of issues? Sincerely. That is just it. That is, um... Let us, um, you know, look for a way out. Sincerely, it is time for us to look for a way out, out of these problems. People cannot, people who are innocent Nigerians cannot be in prison. Why the main, the main people who are the violators of rights, human rights and all, actually. They are, they are, they are no, like, sincerely they are nowhere to be, to be, to be found. People who are innocent citizens are in prison. Why those who are supposed to be in prison, they are actually outside roaming the street. Sincerely, it is not supposed to at all. It is not something that is. It is not something that is even good to the ears. It is not sounding okay at all. It has gotten to the point where we should stand up and say enough is enough. This issue has gone out of hand. So I do not still know their crime. They are actually in prison why, you know, people who are the real criminals, people who kill, who do not hide whatever they do. They do it and they tell the government, we are coming, we'll do more. And the government leave these people to roam about and innocent citizens of Nigeria are still in prison. It is very worrisome. Very, very worrisome. Their only problem or their only offense was they came out and they are crying that they are flogged. How do you flog a child and don't expect the child to cry? Things are not going well in our country. And these people said, no, they are not going to take it. And they came out and they aired the opinion. That was their only offense. Let's listen to the news in detail. Embattled Yoruba Nation Agitator Sunday, at the more popularly known as Sunday, who has alleged a plot to eliminate him in the Benin Republic. The 49-year-old Agitator was arrested by operatives of the Brigade Criminal Criminal Brigade on July 19th in Cotonou. Despite efforts to get him released, Chuck show he has spent 161 days in detention. Ola Yomi Koiki, spokesman of Ibuho, in a podcast mentioned by a reporter on Tuesday evening, alleged that the Benin President Patrice Tellon was working with the federal government to extradite Ibuho to Nigeria. He said so many people have heard rumors in the past 24 to 48 hours. We know that God Almighty is watching. If they are trying, they cannot be successful. If they are planning evil against Prof. Banja Kinto and others, they are only trying, but God's power is superior. The enemies are trying to eliminate him, Ibuho. Their plan is to eliminate him so that the Yoruba nation agenda will be silenced. But God has shown that he is above them. If you think the legal road is what will set Ibuho free, then we are wasting our time. But the Republic judicial system is not working. Look at the way his case has been prolonged. 
I've spoken with our lawyer in Benin, and he told me that only the president can set them free. Now, diplomacy cannot work. We have to fight for our right. See the way they killed M.K. Abiola, Funsha Williams. They were killed unjustly. We have issued so many ultimatums for Ibo's release, but nothing has happened. Did you see? Can you listen to this one? Can you? The thing is, in Nigeria, I'll say this. These people have called us Momo several times. To our faces. They have come out and say, you people are Momo, Momo. Hey, they call you Momo. You know who to vote. You know the right person. And wait. I'm going to say this. Well, our crime is not that we don't know who to vote. MKO is actually one of the persons that, you know, would have done so much for Nigeria because he came... That man has was pure. The same thing with Funsha Williams. He was killed. These people were the people that if they have stepped in would have been able to measure that no, these people they are really doing well. But no. These people in power, the people they have they have swore that they will never allow Nigeria to be great are still the ones. Even your so called father of democracy. Hmm? Is he not the one wanted to bring him a Muslim Muslim ticket? In the Whole chaos that is happening again, people are scared. People are there's breakdown of law and order in the society. There's breakdown of law and order in the society, and the only thing you can see is eh, you are going to bring a eh, you are going to take you are going to allow you know you are going to bring Muslim Muslim ticket and convince the south the southwest. That once your people are convinced, there are no problem. That is, the Onotana should give you their word. I'm saying, just imagine, just look at, just look at, just look at. Hmm. Sincerely, oh, this one is not is not okay at all. It is not okay. And yet, tomorrow, the most painful thing is.